Hey everybody, this is Ioannis from the Diversified Value Data Network, soon to be rebranded to Steak Baby, so keep an eye on that. Uh, so today is February 20th, 2022, and today is the Take Flight Distribution event. And in celebration of that, and to say thank you to our delegators, past and future, we have released a feature that is called um, the Auto Compounder. You can find it by going to my dashboard, Auto Compounder, and it does what you think it does. It basically restakes your staking rewards uh, to, in order to maximize interest over time. That, that feature is already available on uh, Polkadot and Kusama as an on-chain thing. Uh, it, it does not, uh, Moonbeam doesn't have it uh, and it's not going to have it. It will have it in the form of smart contracts in the future when the staking pre-compile is accessible through smart contracts. But for the time being, the only way to restake your rewards um, and maximize your earnings is by doing it manually. Uh, so that might mean uh, doing it every day. Uh, or by coming uh, by using our feature on our website and uh, having us do it for you. Uh, now, depending on how much glimmer you have, there there is a different um, frequency that you need to use to auto restake your rewards to optimize your earnings. Uh, that is net of transaction costs, uh, because uh, transaction costs do exist, although they're pretty cheap. They're there, and uh, basically, if you have about thirty thousand glimmer that you're Staking, then you need to restake every day to optimize that result. Assuming a 22% APR, which I think is okay. Um, if you have 500 Glimmer, then you only need to do it 48 times a year. So you might want to do it manually in that case. Uh, but uh, if you like automation, you know, why not use our feature? So how does this work? Uh, well, the, the way it works is, uh, it is simple but effective. Uh, you essentially pre-generate the transactions uh, and then you give them to us. Uh, you don't submit them to the chain. So a transaction is just a string of bytes. Uh, and uh, when you generate, when you, when you sign a transaction on MetaMask, it generates that string and then it sends it to the chain. Well, in our case, we just generate it and instead of sending it to the chain, you send it to us, we store it in a database and we send it to the chain when the time is right. So when we want your account to, uh, to compound, to restake the, the, its balance. So uh, how should you use it? Uh, we advise to just create uh, a compounding savings kind of account that you only use for that purpose. Uh, th nothing stops you from using any account. Uh, but the thing is that uh, our bot, when it finds like a staking, when it finds a balance in your wallet, it's going to try to restake that. Not all of it immediately. It will do it like every few hours, like a small amount based on uh, the initial transactions that you generated. Uh, but um, if it finds an amount higher than this balance that you decide here, say 60 Glimmer, uh, then it will try to stake that. And that could be staking rewards that have been accumulated, or it could be like a balance that you moved into your wallet. So better, you know, use a, a wallet that is dedicated to compounding and use another one uh, for transfers and stuff. Uh, because uh, the other thing is that you're also consuming a nonce, spelled like this, which is basically a unique number um, that uh, for every transaction, and when you use a nonce, say that the nonce is 15, if you use it, and one of the transactions that you have sent to us, the delegated bond more transactions, had that nonce, then we cannot use it again. So that would mean that you would have to come back here and regenerate the, the transactions, which is not a bad thing, but not ideal. Uh, you wouldn't have to do that every time. You would have to do that every you know 30 transactions or so. So ideally, just create a, a compounding account and use that for this purpose only. Now on to the more important thing, uh, canceling this. You can cancel this at any time from this page. And if we disappear and this page is down and we don't like to talk to you anymore, which is not going to happen, but if, you know, by some miraculous way it does, uh, then you can just revoke us and send us to hell. And that way we will not be able to, uh, to execute this uh, delegate bond more transactions because you're not bonded to DVN anymore. Uh, so that would be, you know, a way that you can kind of uh, force us to, to stop uh, uh, executing these transactions for you. Uh, although I don't think you will ever have to use it. The most uh, important thing is how do you generate these transactions? Um, and the only way to do that is by using your, your private key. And uh, we have created an application for you to do it. We haven't hosted it here. Because that wouldn't be that prudent, you know, to do. We have hosted it on GitHub, uh, you, which you can find. Let me reorganize. 
You can find it at this address or you can find it by clicking on this link right here. And um, if you're a developer, you should really just come here, open index.html and go through this file and make sure that it does what it says it does, uh, which I will show you in a bit. But the idea is that we don't change this ever again. So if you come back here, you will see, you know, the last time this was updated was 50 years ago or so, whatever. If it's eight days or more, then you can assume that it has been reviewed by other people. If there are no issues, uh, it should mean that uh, it does what it says it does and you're safe to use it. Uh, so that said, if you come to this application right now, so that would be from this link right here, uh, then you're going to be faced with this thing. So you can't use it anymore. You can't use it yet. Uh, why is that? Because we have, uh, we're blocking this application for the first eight days. If you're a developer, you know how to get around this very easily so you can use it. Uh, but the idea is that if you're not a developer, you should wait for developers to kind of use this first uh, and, uh, you know, test it and review it. And that's not because we're doing anything weird, but that's because that's how, what you should do with every application that asks for your private key. Uh, don't trust it. And uh, we shouldn't expect you to trust it. Not until other people that know what they're doing, know how to read code, uh, have reviewed this application and they, they say it's good. How do you know it, it's, uh, you know, they say it's good? You should go to the GitHub link. So uh, just make sure that, you know, this address here is exactly the same as this here. So, um, because this is the live version of this, basically. So the name of this GitHub repo uh, is the address, the actual address uh, of the, the website that is live, sorry. Uh, and uh, yeah, got, come to this repo here. Uh, and make sure you can come here from this link and make sure that there are, there are no issues or if there are some issues because some people like to play with that, just go and check that they're not, you know, anything, anything dangerous or anything. Uh, and uh, make sure also that it has been a few days, at least eight days since the app was last updated. It shouldn't be uh, updated anymore uh, unless our GitHub account gets hacked, which I don't see a way how that could happen. But anyways, uh, so make sure that this hasn't been updated for a long time, eight days at least, and there are no issues. That means that you're safe to use this. And after eight days, this thing will go and you will be able to access this app. So that would be March 1st. Um, and when that happens, the way to use this is you enter your private key here. It's no balance, not private key, don't get excited. Uh, say that you want to delegate, you know, a thousand uh, say that your delegation to DVN is a thousand glimmer, then uh, it uh, recommends that you generate 34 transactions for six months. Uh, you should just go ahead and say 34, that's fine. If you generate more, then that will be for a year. If you, you know, generate 68, that would be for a year. If you generate uh, 17, that would be for three months, etc. It might, they might last a bit less because you might use up your nonsense. And then just click generate offline transactions. And uh, oh, good thing that worked. You can go here, select all, and copy this. Go back to the website, paste it right here. Uh, by the way, uh, just make sure the address that you're logged in with matches the address that you used uh, here. Well, well, the private key of that address. So this should be the private key of this address here. And say that you want to keep a minimum Glimmer balance in this account of five. Just, I don't know. Uh, transaction cost and stuff like that and click activate auto compounding uh, and here it says invalid transaction so the entire dex yeah uh, it does that because um, the delegator is not dvn because uh, i just made this up but if it was uh, and this was a valid address that was delegating to dvn uh, then this would uh, basically say yep you have delegated you have uh, activated the service and you're ready to go uh, actually, let me just disconnect, connect with my other address. Uh, so this is an account that has already been uh, using this feature and you can see that it had some uh, automatic delegations in the past. You will see them appearing here and you'll also see that you, uh, how many, uh, up to what nonce the transactions that you have submitted are, which would be 33 versus the current one that is 24. That means that this, uh, uh, we can post another 8 plus 3, 11 uh, auto compound transactions for you on your behalf.
uh, in this account. And when this number runs out, then you go, you're going to have to come back here and uh, generate more transactions using this page. So this is it more or less. If you're a developer, please uh, do come here and review the code uh, so that you know other people can feel more safe about using it. Uh, you should not enter your private key on an application uh, like this. And when you do come and do it here, uh, although I just told you you shouldn't, so it's, well, whatever, go figure. You should uh, disconnect your computer from the internet. All you need, really need to do is load this application while you're on the internet so they can get your nuns and then disconnect from the internet, generate the transactions, then close this tab. Well, actually, you have to close the entire um, incognito browser, which means nothing will be left. Uh, and make sure you have copied this thing beforehand uh, so you can paste it um, in this place here. If you have any questions, uh, please get in touch. Our email is contact.dvn.cy uh, or just post a comment under the YouTube video below and I'll be sure to answer ASAP. Uh, uh, this uh, feature will be working uh, for as long as uh, there's no other way to auto restake your uh, rewards. And uh, when there is a way to do it, uh, be sure that we'll be the first to, to create uh, to, to use that new smart contract uh, powered way to offer you the same functionality uh, with more safety and uh, perhaps even more efficiently. Thank you very much and uh, yeah, have fun today. Uh, don't, don't throw your glimmer away for peanuts, you know, stake it, stake it and stay in for the long term. See you guys later.